let's jump on here. Next one is also Cam. Uh, and this one I'm excited about to show you. This one here comes from Gary. Uh, and Gary says, I've been using your tutorials on YouTube to learn Fusion. Thank you. Um, you have great content and excellent teaching skills. I appreciate it. So uh, I have built my own CNC router and I'm now using Fusion Cam packets for machine tool programming. Um, but I have to say that I'm struggling to get the machine to do what I want, <laughs> right? We all do sometimes. Um, so my current problem is I'm making a spoil board, but it's like something you can drill into. Large patterns of holes for hold downs and uh, it's counter bores. And I, so he built counter bore holes, but he don't want to be able, he don't want to go in and select every single hole manually uh, and you don't want to drill it. He actually want to machine it. So let's go in and look at that. Here we go, Gary. Uh, from one cam to another cam. So let's go ahead and draw a spoil board up. Let's keep an rectangle. I don't know. We're going to make this 800 by 400 spoil. Board. I don't know what size you're using. Doesn't really matter. Q for press pull. Let's give it a little bit of thickness here. So that's our spoil board. <clears throat> now, I am going to go ahead and do some uh, patterning, some counter balls. I'm going to show you something I think is funny. I'm going to start offset the sketch from here. I'm going to go in minus 20. I am going to open a sketch in, on that plane. P for project. I'm going to steal the edges of these here. And then I'm going to draw half of a counter board. Boom, boom, boom. It's going to go over here, down. Just make sure I close this up. So I'm making my custom counter boards because I can. D for dimension. And we're going to make this one six. And let's make this one 12. And then let's go into solids. Let's go into Revolve, and we're going to select that profile, we're going to cut right through that edge, and we just model up a counter board. Just trying to show you a different way we can do things. All right, so what um, what Gary did was now where he had his counter board, however he modeled it in, then he went in and used the rectangular patterns. So we all are familiar with that one. I'm going to go in and select Feature, I'm going to select that Revolve, and... Um, Select an edge to do this by. I'm going to do by spacing. And let's make these 25 millimeters apart. And make them more. Let's make them 30 apart. And let's just throw a bunch of them in here. Okay, it's going to take a little time to generate when I do it like this, but that's okay. We're going to go in the separate direction over like this. And uh, let's do three. Let's do all. Let's do 30 both ways. All right. So we have 25, 13, 30, 30. Okay. I'm going to hit OK to this. And it's going to take a second or two. There we go. That's a lot of counter balls. All right. So let's get into cam. I'm going to show you a couple of tricks how we can uh, we can do this on a cam. So go into manufacturer. There's a couple of different ways we can do this, Gary. And I'm going to show you both of them. So I'm going to make a setup. That's all good. And you were talking about you wanted to mill this. So I'm going to select the circular tool. Now, let's go in and select the tool. I'm going to select the metric, and I'm going to select a 10 millimeter flat in mill. Okay. And um, for the geometry, you have two different options. I would probably do this in, in two operations. I would select this one here. You see how we get our tool plan? And then if you hit select the same diameter, boom. Now it's going to find all of them you can choose the order 
how you want to order all of them. Hit OK, and have now machine all the top of the counter board. Then, this is what I would do. Then I would right click and I would select the duplicate, what gives me just a copy of the first one. I would right click of it, hit edit, and then I'll go into operations and unselect that face and select that face. And then you have all the rest. This is what I would do if I was going to machine this, select the top, and uh, now it would literally just start uh, machine all the tops like this. And then it would go ahead, when it's done with that, go ahead and select all, um, all the bottoms. And I don't know what I selected there in the end. Since, oh, there's probably a too big of a lead in, lead out, whatever. That's one way you can do this, like this. Let's go ahead and look at that. Oh, that's because it just plunges down, that's fine. Uh, that's one way you can do this. The other way you could do this is let's go back in and edit these tool path. Let's turn off the select same face because what I think that um, Gary maybe want to do is actually machine one at a time. So I broke it down so I would machine all the top of the counter boards, then all the bottom of the counter boards. But of course, if you want to machine both of them in one and then go ahead and do it, well, you can inside of here actually also do patterns. So click setup, select, actually, no, I think we're going to select these two, right click and select add to new pattern. Now you can do a linear pattern just like we just did. So we can select here. Remember what the distance was? 30. It's going to be the other direction, fifth direction. How many of them did we, uh, did we do? 25, I think. Add another direction. What was the spacing? I think that was also 30. Maybe. So that direction there. And did we do 13? Yep. And then down here, you can choose to say preserve order, where it will again actually do it what we just saw. Or you can say order by operation, I think. Now I can't remember which one it is. Now we're going to simulate it. Counter more. Oh, that was not it. See how this jumps between the two. Right click edits. Preserve order. Maybe it makes more sense. And now it's going to do the counter more. Then it's going to do the circular hole. Counter more. Circular hole. Counter war, circular hole. I think my lead in, lead out is screwing up with uh, with that center hole there. But you get the you get the picture. Um, so that's a couple of different ways you can do that, Gary. I hope I hope that that was useful. You let me know. <clears throat> All right.